in the last video uh, we uh, talked about the general reinforcement learning and uh, q algorithm in this video let us uh, understand uh, q algorithm with an example so let's see an example of q algorithm assume that you have a house there are so many rooms and each room uh, will be considered as uh, some state a person is at some some state and from one room the person wants to go to another room that we will call it as another state. So you see the goal is to go to uh, room number 5. So uh, from 1 we can the person can go directly to 5. From 5 the person can directly come to 1 right and from 0 the person can directly come to 4 and from 4 directly the person can go to 0 but there is no direct and from 5 from 4 there is also direct connection to 5 this is also part of 5 but from 3 there is no direct connection to uh, 5 so like this uh, uh, um, by seeing this environment we can draw a, st a state action diagram so this is state action diagram so you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 as seen here you have a direct connection from 1 to 5 1 to 5 and 5 to 1 also direct connection is there from 3 to 1 there is a connection 3 to 1 1 to 3 connection is there and 5 to 5 you know internal loop is there 5 to 5 internal loop right so like this we can draw a state uh, action diagram so we will initialize uh, the q matrix or q table uh, to be a zero matrix all the elements to be zeros uh, these rows correspond to uh, states and the columns correspond to actions and we will also write a reward uh, uh, table and we will give reward only to uh, uh, only when there is uh, from some state to, to a goal state there is a path 1 to 5 there is a path the direct path is there so we will give 100 all so 4 to 500 5 to 500 so only those rewards we will consider all other rewards wherever relevant we will give 0 rewards where there is no relevant, where there is no connection at all, we will make it as minus 1 entry, right. So again, these are all states, these are all actions. Now, let us say that the person is at room number 1, from, uh, let us say that the person is at room 1, from room 1, he or she can go to 3 or 5, but our goal is to go to 5, but the person can actually can go to 3 or 5. Now, let us randomly select 5. Now this calculation has to be done for all states, right, and all actions. So let us write Q1, comma 5 is equal to R1, comma 5 plus 0 0.8 into max in terms of actions. Q5, comma 1, right, because this is my 5 is my next state, right. 5 is my next state. See here, one to be selected next state is 5 randomly. So 5 is my next state. From 5, the person can go to 1, 4, 5. In this we have to find the max. So max q 5 comma 1, 5 comma 4 and q uh, 5 comma 5. So r 1 comma 5 is 100 you can see in the table or matrix plus 0 0.8 0 it is 100 and we will uh, substitute uh, for q for, we will enter this 100 at the q 1 comma 5 entry, entry location. So we will write 100. Now, the person has arrived at 5, there is no further calculation required. We will put 100 in for, uh, for Q1, 5. Now, let us say that the person is at room number uh, 3, right. From 3, the person can go to number 1 or 2 or 4. Let us select randomly the person is going to 1. So, we, have, we need now Q3, 1 entry. Q3, 1 which is the current 1, current state is 3, the action is towards 1, 3 to 1 is my action, so is q3, 1 is equal to r3, 1 plus 0 0.8 into max in terms of actions, so uh, 1, 3, from next state is 1, from 1, 3, and 5, so 1, 3, q1, 3, q1, 5, so we get, on uh, substituting the values, we get 80, now the matrix q gets updated, for 3 comma 1 we will put AD. Right here uh, we will not be making any changes. Next from the person has to 
after reaching 1, the person has to go to the goal state, the person will go to uh, 5. So, Q1, 5, uh, which is already calculated, let's see, Q1, 5 is equal to R1, 5, 0 0.8 into max of 5, 1, 5, 4 and 5, 5. You get again 100, this value we have already uh, calculated. So, this kind of calculations uh, have to be carried out for all states and uh, actions and uh, many iterations have to be uh, carried out, uh, thousands of iterations have to be carried out, that is how the algorithm will become um, accurate, right. So, this is a, just an example on uh, how to use a, a Q algorithm. I hope you understood this. If you understood, please give a like for this. Thank you. Please link this uh, video with the, uh, the uh, previous video because uh, there was a time warp. I am using free software. That is why I had to make another video for the, this uh, example. So please link this with the another video. Thank you.